Hey everyone, it's Maggie Bot with Vlogus Day 6, and uh, today we talked about uh, we want to make our events a little more diverse if possible, invite a broader range of people, make sure that people feel comfortable and included, and uh, diversity is just, it's a little bit lacking in the Pacific Northwest. Um, we posted a picture on my Facebook, and it was just you know, we're looking at this huge event. This was uh, 130 people playing Magic one Friday, and it was just like a sea of white dudes. <laughs> and so we're going to work really hard on also inviting more people, not just those awesome white dudes who come in, but making sure that other people know that they can come in and have fun and do things with us. So it looks like I'm probably running a game night once a month coming up really soon. Um, it was great. We talked with the people from Geek Girl Con, which is a convention out here in Seattle that I'm a huge, 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 huge supporter of. Um, in fact, I usually volunteer for them when they do their convention out here in Seattle. So uh, it was really good to even be able to see them all. We had like the whole gaming crew from them. Um, that was great. And I happened to be working out in Bellevue this this afternoon. Um, two people from Twitter were uh, in the store and we ended up saying hi and it was actually really cool. I'm so glad that they did. Uh, so I got to hang out with them a little bit. We played the networks before I had to go to a meeting and um, so that was a pretty big treat for me. Uh, I'm not usually so good at meeting the people but they were really nice that they came up and said it like, hey, we know you from Twitter, and that that's a very helpful thing. So if you ever see me out and about, I'm happy to meet you. It's just really helpful if you understand I might not recognize your face. <laughs> it's really handy to know your Twitter handle, because then I can, like, match up when I've talked to you online. Um, so that was fantastic, and the networks went pretty well. We were giggling ourselves mad, me and Sam, um, just... Those TV shows, they're really funny, guys. Um, I do think that the the crew and myself were, we sped through the learning in like five minutes. We forgot to talk about in-game scoring. But um, as far as the learning game could go, it went as smooth as possible. So that was good. Um, for gaming last night, let's see, we did La Granja. Um, that went okay. Uh, La Granja is that two to four player kind of mix of Feld and Rosenberg. Um, I'm not sure I'm in love with it. I, I, I find it interesting and it's fun to play and it's fun to try and like build your engines and stuff but I don't know that it's like an instant hit with me. And I'm not sure what it is that's stopping me from loving it. So uh, we'll be playing it more. That was only my second game, third game, third game. So I did nothing, nothing crazy that I could pinpoint as to why I don't love it, but it was not, it's not coming home anytime soon, so I'm just gonna, because all my friends own it, so I'll just play theirs. Um, and then in the late evening, played some mobile, and mobile is a reprint from, uh, there, there was a smaller version called mobile. <laughs> this one added in, like, a board, but what's cool about mobile is, like, just a very unique bidding element to it, so you have the it's kind of like reverse no thanks, where you have chits, you kind of, you put them in the middle um, to bid on a card. Let me call the noise. So you take, look at the cool wooden bowl it comes with. No one else was really impressed with this, but I thought the wooden bowl was really fun, because it makes a lovely noise whenever you put your little chits in there. But uh, you're bidding on stocks, so ah, it's not a real stock. You're bidding on stocks. And um, so if you win the stock, you get to choose the upper or the bottom part. But if you came in second to last, so if you were the second person, to st or if you were the last person to stay in the round until you passed, you get the other benefit. So um, you can take the stocks, you can sell the stocks, or you can put yourself onto the board, which is uh, route building. Um, the board is new. The old version did not have that. And so... Um, I don't know. My crowd was pretty mixed on it. It's it's pretty hard to know how much to bid and when when you, when you haven't played a bidding game before. Um, we had a little trouble with one player just scooping up all of the chits and kind of controlling the game. 
going to keep trying it. I, I think it's rather fun and charming, so maybe it's just that we don't want the board involved, but I don't I, I think it's pretty good. I'd love to play it with a different crowd, because sometimes my particular group can be a little rough on lighter games. Um, they, they tend to want heavier stuff, so <laughs> I may have to try and get it out. Um, there's a convention even this weekend, so today and tomorrow and the next day are Dragon Flight out here in Seattle, so I will be attending parts of that. As you can hear, I'm a little exhausted, so I'm not sure how much of this weekend I'm going to enjoy and how much I'm going to just need a nap the whole time. But it's good to see you all, and I'll see you next time. Bye.